Okay, after an, a long day of rebuilding a PLS 820, I finally get to finish that. Minutes after I fin finish rebuilding that, I end up to go take my mower on just a little drive. I just go drift on some ice a little bit, and we have to move some cows, so I figured I might as well help move them and ch chase them along with the mower. But, as you know, the second you finish one thing, something new always comes up. I pull out on the ice, and I've been driving around on drifting a while. It works just fine. But as I drive off the ice, I was just going along through the field. It was probably fifth gear or so, about 20. And all of a sudden, this thing just jolts to a stop. And the engine turns off. Now, it, it shifts in every single gear, just smoothly and fine. It won't roll forward if it's in gear, in any gear. It'll push forward if it's in neutral, and rolls just fine. I know it's not become unlocked or anything, but for some reason, the input shaft is seized up, and it's so locked up, it won't even spin the engine. But I'm not sure what's wrong with this thing. It, I'm somewhat guessing it's the bearings, the needle bearings on the shaft have broken and seized it up or something, which means I'm going to have to do a, a replacement of a brass bushing instead of them. But if it's something more serious, this could mess with, uh, affect the law of the future videos. Because if this transmission is ends up being trashed inside or if I don't have the spare part in my bucket of random transmission gears the mower that's going to affect the most is my racing mower that I'm going to be building because this also has an MST205 like that one and if I like my mud mower a lot more than I do with my racing one so if that transmission's trashed or going to take a long time to get parts to fix or something, chances are I may be taking it out of this. So, that's what it, the next, what's happening with my mowers and what might happen in my, how it will affect my next videos. Comment, like, and subscribe, and see you in the, the next update. Okay, I've got the transmission all unhooked. Now it should just lift out and I can inspect it for cracks or anything. And really hoping it's just the bearings went out. There we go. See if the racing mower gets to happen anytime soon or not. Alright, pushing on the belt. Get that belt off. bolts there's one of the problems pretty sure I left one on the other side too and then it should lift that I hope okay it came out so it should be nothing holding it now
Okay. Here is my transmission. On the outside, I don't really see see too much for problems, but I guess I get to pull in half and see what's really wrong. Okay, after removing the transmission from my mower, I'm, I pulled all the bolts, as you can see. Now I'm about to pop the case and see if my racing mower project's going to happen anytime soon. There we go. Really full of grease. Well, I can't even tell if there's anything broken or not. Well, now the input shaft spin, so there's a more serious problem. Okay, after pulling the casing off. The input shaft spins, which was the thing I first thought was locked up, so now I got to dig all these gears out of the grease and figure out what's not spinning and if it's fixable or not. Really don't think it was a chipped gear because it still shifts and acts grip like it should, but so I'll figure out it. Okay, in. after I pull every single gear out of the casing and separate it, the axles and everything as you can see the casing run well maybe i'm thinking i might have over estimated the rate this thing was leaking out grease because this whole entire tub here is about a quarter full and this thing was topped off but i'm not seeing any damage in the beginning but i still have to clean off the gears and wash out the casings and see what i see if I see anything broken or chipped, but, but right now it's looking like I'm, it can be fixed. Okay, after taking all the gears out of the casing and washing them off with a can of carb cleaner and some spraying them down, I'm still noticing some prob. I, fa I found one of the main problems of it. This, if you look at them all, all these seem to be fine but there's obviously a problem with one of these because they're not on the spin anymore so as I was looking through I didn't thing I was sort of least expecting is this see right there there's a tooth missing and I don't remember scooping that out of the grease so it's ground up and I'm guessing chips of it are in part of this I, I don't know I guess I get to pull them apart and see what I can find okay I've got all the gears off the shaft and well, and I have not found any metal pieces here's the look of them every single one is off and I cleaned out the casing a little bit I don't see any marks of gouging or anything so I'm thinking if I put this all back together and Except for I'm going to have to re-weld a little bit to strengthen this because I'm not happy about that one gear missing. It just makes the rest of it weaker. But that also means i got to run a magnet through this grease because I must have scooped it up somewhere because it's not pinched in those gears. And there's no chips in any of them. It's got to be sitting in there somewhere. Okay, after pulling the gears a little bit further, I noticed that something that I uh, spend on the rest of the transmissions I pulled apart and I found the problem right on here these this was seized up on here and this is supposed to spin freely on there so as I looked at there's more there's all grinding indentions on here and stuff so, but these won't go back together properly now they don't want to spin so not sure what I'll do now. I may take some sandpaper or something and 
smoothing that out again and pack it full of grease and see if I can get it working. Must one of the gear pieces off of this must have got in there or something. I can't find the rest of it, but it's the only thing I can think of. Okay, I figured I figured out how to fix it. As before, I showed that this right here was gouged up and scraped up, so I went out to my grinder and shaved a, the whole entire thing slightly small, smaller, like you couldn't even see the difference, but it works now is this right here, it spins freely on there, nice and easy, so that should fix my transmission, which means my racing mower's build is back in the plan again. Okay, after pulling it completely apart, I found that seized little thing there. I don't really know the name of it, but I, I really don't see how it's possible that anything would have seized with that excessive amount of grease, but everything now is all cleaned up and I just gotta assemble it again, which means I gotta clean all the casing and just all kinds of fun stuff so that the RTV sealant will go on there and hold so I'll get a little bit less water in there because my grease is not really the right color so it's showing me some water is getting th into it. See that it's kind of a yellowish green color but I'm still going to use it after I run a magnet through it because that's a lot of money in grease so I'm just going to keep running it through here. My gears, they all look perfect. Like this, I've opened this thing up in probably two years now, and all gears are great. I've had this transmission for probably about five years, but since the last opening and running these mud machine tires on there, you think they'd show any kind of wear, but even after the broken tooth there, nothing in here is chipped or about new looking so it all works now I gotta clean all this gasket off the edges and seal it up okay I just gonna call this end of my video so comment like and subscribe and I'll do a video on testing out this trans axle once again